How do, Azzy here, and we today we are back with The Fisher Online, and we're going to be trying something slightly different today, we're still at Belarus at Dakora Pond, but we have invested some of our Chinese sleeper money, and we have bought ourselves a new rig, so let's have a ganders at that, before we uh, try it out. So, we have a Katana Deepstream 8. Um, now, I'm with durability of 8 kilos, I've worked out that is. That KL, I think. Um, we've got the Jackfish 4 reel on there with uh, 10 kilo, uh, sorry, 4 kilos of capacity. Um, the string we've got, string 1. That's all the posh stuff, you know. 100 metres of that, hopefully less chance of spooling. And we've got, that's got a kilo uh, capacity. We've got a 25 gram weight. We have a, it's not a leash, it's a leader or a trace, depending on where you're from. Uh, that's 1.5, so the line's going to give probably before the leader. But it's only the cheap string, so I'm not worrying about that too much. We're poshing it up, we're going with a size 2, a medium orc. And we're going to have a go with blood worms because everything loves blood worms. I'm going to see if we can get ourselves a slightly funkier fish. So, let's, uh, let's have a look at the map. Right, so we're sort of around this campy bit here. And we've got this big trough running right the way down the middle. On a really, really good day, A, we'll be able to get it into that trough. And B, we'll know that we have got it there. So let's have a go. I've had one cast with this so far and it didn't go that well. So let's have a look. <laughs> Hit two to bring it up. Right, and now we're going to basically pop it out there and in the first place we've got out. We also have contact with the surface. It sinks pretty quick. They've got minus three metres. So we've got it into the trough. So now we're going to pop that down, if I can remember the popping down button. It's Y, apparently. There you go, for your information. And we will be back when there's a little bit of interest in that. While we're waiting for our funky new setup to actually pay dividends, what I will do is I will go and see what the daily mission is. Actually, I don't need to go, because we have mobile technology. And see if we can cash in on that. So we've got to uh, 10 silver green. There we are, Chinese sleeper quest. That's there again. Um, and lots of things I've never caught much of, so I have no idea how many quests I can take. What I might do... Actually, yeah, I'm looking at the times now, and there is no way I'm going to catch a shiny sleeper in 10 minutes. So I might go for the, for the weightage one, see if we can get our 58 monies. Do a take. Oh, take, thank you. Alright, then we can go back to that, and we can do a little bit of floaty fishing. Whilst our funky new setup uh, thinks about what it's doing. So we've still got the same setup on this, I'll just uh, very quickly show you that. So it's the Yang Extra Rod, it's a starting rod, it's a starting reel, it's the starting everything apart from the blood worms. Because you don't start with blood worms, but why the hell not, we'll go with those. And we'll have to try and sleep it again whilst we hopefully get some more funky fish on the feeder line. It's open. I'm also hoping I can actually hear when the bells go off. That's a probably a little bit foolish trying this for the first time uh, in a video, but there you go. I'll make the mistakes on your behalf so you don't have to. Think of it that way if you like. So I could even pop this down and keep an eye on the other one. Let's see if that's possible theoretically. I mean, it's not a good idea because I can't see the float once I've, uh, once I've wandered over here. Well, we can see that it looks like nothing's interested in that. And uh, nothing's interested in that yet. We might invest in a second feeder, but I want to know that it works first. I don't want to spend all the monies to find I've got a completely wrong setup and a thing that really will not catch fish. Well, our first thing doesn't seem to be uh, 
this is doing anything, we'll bring that in. We'll have a little cast somewhere else. It's amazing how quickly I get impatient on this, isn't it? No, no, must have the fishies, must have the fishies. Of course, if I'm not recording, I can quite happily just sit on a fishing game for hours, not catching anything, and I don't really care. Is it really? There you go, there's one mocking me. He just wanted to be on YouTube. Oh, we have a bite, sort of. Well, it's an inquiry anyway. No, I've struck too early. Now, if you do strike too early, it doesn't just bring it back in, which is uh, which is quite nice. But we've got something else. I didn't scare it off, whatever it was. There we go. We'll get it this time. It's a reasonable size, judging by the little bar coming up. What have we got? We have Droach. Excellent. I'm going to, while I'm thinking about it, bring that quest up, just to remind myself that I have taken it. There we go. Little reminder to myself that yes, I am supposed to be hopefully getting Chinese sleepers as well as whatever doesn't appear to be biting on the feeder. I'm just going to hoik this out of here. It's not the best place for catching fishes, I doubt. Or I doubt it's the best place for catching fishes, but it's... <laughs> Made no difference because I can't see the other rod anyway. I'm trying to keep an ear out for the bell. Oh, was that bellage then? One of the perils of YouTube, of course, is you have to turn the volume right down on your uh, on 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 your computer, otherwise it sounds really really loud in the video. So if there's been jingly jangly jangling for the past five minutes, um, no, nah, I've not noticed because I can't hear it. Let's bring that, let's have a, I'm not getting anything there, that's just that in, the, in the yonder, isn't it? Is there anything even vaguely resembling movements on that? No, there isn't. Let's, hang on, I'm still zoomed in. There. That's better. That's better. But if I hike this just not that far out, quite close in, and in theory, I can watch them both. So we can have the float in the top of the screen and the feeder rod in the bottom. Can we? Can we? Nearly. Nearly. Now I'm depending on the line moving. Or it making a noise. But that's two things that could happen that wouldn't get a bite. Any minute now. Go on, bite, damn it. I think we'll be back when that um, feeder rod actually produces something. I'm going to give this a couple more moments and I think I'm going to have a look at the bait situation. Because it might be the case of, well, any number of things could be wrong here. It could be the bait, it could be the hook, it could be the location, it could be all three. Well, I'm presuming I'll know when there's a bite on this line. That's a little bit optimistic. We're going to bring it in. We're going to fiddle with the setup slightly. That's not a fish on there, is it? I'll feel really daft if there's a little fish on the end of this. No, there's not a little fish on the end. Right. So we're going to... No, we're not going to take it out. We're not going to take it out. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. I didn't mean to cast then. That's how good at this I am. As I said, we're learning. I'll make the mistakes for us. Right. So let's have a little fiddle with this. Uh, it's got a medium hook that might be putting some of the smaller fishes up. So off. So we're going to go for a size one hook. Bloodworm. I haven't produced anything yet. What else do we have? Oh, we'll never go with Bill Valley. Why not? Why on earth not? I will see if that brings us anything. 
So if there's a quick success here, there's there's an answer for us. There we go, I think we've got it to the bottom. I don't think we have to tighten the line or anything like that. It appears taut, whether that's a, a thing or not, I have no idea. Yeah, it's a game of patience. Eee, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, it's gotten desperate when we start doing the fishy song, hasn't it? In theory, in theory this should work. We've, we've gotten it to the bottom. Uh, there should be fish there. We'll give this a little bit. And then I'll switch to bait again. I might go for regular worms. Everything likes a worm sort of thing. The other thing that could of course be is time of day. I mean, I don't think weather's been implemented in this game. Or temperature, but time of day I know has. So uh, it could just be wrong place, wrong time. Oh, oh, there you go. That's pretty much what we're after, isn't it? Right, I've been patient. I've been, I've been as patient as I can. I'm going for it. Oh, it's a bit big for that. <laughs> it's a bit big. Can we get this thing in? We might have bitten off more than we can chew here. It's still coming in. It's still, oh, it's fighting, it's fighting. I do quite like the line bar there, it's going up and down, because you can... Oh, it's very difficult to render a uh, fish fight on these, and, and the physical feeling of it, but that line coming back and forth, you know, I don't know how much line's being straight. Right, come on, come on. It's definitely going to be a big fish, if we can get it in. I think I've got it, have I got it, have I got it? Oh. Where are you, fish? Where are you? You're there. Come here. Come here, little fish. Let's be having you. Well, we're trying to show the fish, the fish and pull the fish in at the same time. <laughs> well, that was quite a battle for a 600 gram carp. There you go. But it's a 600 gram crucian. We can get fishes. We are going to have to improve this gear. Right. It's probably... We'll take the fish, we'll take the fish. Right, let's... Because that wasn't a huge thing. Mm, but it works, but it works. Do not knock a thing that works. We'll go again, see if we can get another one. Or a different one. It doesn't matter which. There you go, that's most of the line out, I've just noticed on... The, well, two-thirds of the line out. <laughs> so, let's see... If we can get another one. There you go. We have indeed. Come on. Oh, hang on. There we go. I know which button to press, honest. There's that one. I do like the fact that it tells you which number god it is. So once you've got multiples out, that's really, really helpful. And it's another, well, it might not be a monster with this setup. It could still be a little, little fish. It could still be a tiny little fish, but it's coming in. It's coming in slowly. That's a lot of tension on the line. Come on, fish. Let go. Well, she seems to be less fight than the last one, so maybe... Oh, that means it's not uh, another crucian? Well, I forgot it's another crucian. Oh, oh, the star number here. That's just there. That's the XP you get. I finally worked out. I don't know why it took me so long to work that out, but it did. So anyway, the pearl barley seems to be good for the crucian carp here. Should we have a look? Before we cast again. I'm going to have a look how much these are actually work at, at Fish Bay. E-Fish, whatever you want to call it. Fish is on. Oh, they're actually worth proper money. I'm not 
I'm not going to complain about catching those then. Right. Um, yeah. We will, however, for the sake of experimentation, have a look at the bait. Have a go with another bait. Once can remember which button to press. There we go. Right, have another look. Have a look at another bait. See what we can get. So we'll have Pearl Valley. We've got Crucian Carp on that. Everyone likes a worm. Worms are cool. We'll go with worms. God number two. Zippy OT. Put it out there. Hi, Kiyini. Hopefully we'll hit the catch again. There's contact with the surface. Hitting bottom around about three meters. Pop you down. And we shall wait. There we go. There's a twitching of the rod. That might be something slightly different. It seems to be a different response in the rod. I don't know whether that's implemented or not. It's probably smaller than the last two. If I'm battling with less than kilo fishes, it's probably a hint that this year isn't going to last that long. Or that far up the food chain. Right, it's coming in. I can't see where it's coming in at. There it is. What are you, little bit? Come up. Come and say hello to YouTube. That's the last Chinese sleeper. <laughs> oh dear. So we go and get the exotic gear. We get the Chinese sleeper. But the good news is, that's the daily task. That might be the only daily task there is. I don't know. This is only the second time I've tried daily tasks. But... We're well on the way to that, and that would not be a bad thing. I'm going to pop that out there. We're definitely hope for another something funky. That relief table is the bit I just saw on the, on the thing there, just below the depth. Uh, so, that's the thing I've got to look at. Oh, and again, there's an immediate... An actually immediate take. And that feels bigger. That feels bigger. Although it's not got a huge amount of fight in it. So almost certainly not a carp. And it is coming in. Come on fish. In you come. So we're at level 2 at the moment. We need to get to level 6 to get to Germany. But I'm sure there's, there's loads of, there you go, there's our Chinese sleeper again. Oh, it's two kilos and 700, right, we might be here quite a bit for the, uh, we might not complete that in this uh, episode, you know. I'm going to hike out again. Right, yes, level six bits in Germany. And there's apparently a load more uh, fishes and gear that you can get there. But, let's quick while we're waiting for that quick look at our phone there are quite a few fishes on this that we haven't caught yet we've had perch we haven't had a gudge we haven't had any grass pike or bleak we've had roach we've had chinese sleeper we've had rod i think oh, we had a silver bream i'm not sure we haven't had frogs or leeches or rough we've had crucian no tench no normal carp no catfish no hide or golden crucian i don't think i've caught a golden crucian I think these little bars here are how common they are, maybe? Chinese sleeper and perch, dead common yet? Apparently there's a lot of grass pike, that would mean. That's not entirely impossible. Um, I have no idea. Anyway, so we will definitely be trying to go for, for the whole shebang on those. And what I will probably do between episodes is scout out locations where we might be able to catch that sort of stuff. But in the meantime, there we go. In the meantime, on cue, on cue, you see, this is this is brilliant. This the fish know that we're recording, and and this fish is <laughs> probably way too big for me to pull in. This might be a battle. This might be a battle if we get this in. This might be. This might 
spool me actually hang on how do I turn the friction up and can I do it without but I know it's the mouse wheel oh no 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 don't do that oh that was stupid Azzy that was utterly stupid <laughs> okay so yes when <laughs> right, okay, so whenever you've got a lot of tension in your line and you're struggling to bring the fish, don't turn the friction up, that will break the line. There's a simple, there you go, I learned these things on your behalf. On that bombshell, on that note, um, let's see how broken that is, and then we'll call it. That's not that button, it's that button there, and how much have I actually broken? Oh, that's not too disastrous. We've just lost the bait and the hook. So the world didn't end there. But it did get away because I faffed about with it. But on that note, thank you very much for watching. We shall carry on with a bit more bottom feeding. A little more research bottom feeding, I think, next time. Uh, feeder fishing, even. But if you've got any suggestions, comments, things that you like to see, things that I should be doing, do feel free to let us know in the comments. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Ozzy. Ta-ra for now.